Roblox is and has been lying to you for the longest time now. And today we're going to break down all the instances where Roblox literally lied to us. Please subscribe and let's get into it. And let's firstly start with the biggest lie Roblox has been saying forever now, being this statement right here. Roblox claiming on national news and in interviews that they care about the safety of their players and that their moderation is good. Thousands and thousands of moderators reviews every image, every sound, a review of all the experiences on Roblox. We take this very seriously. Which, as we learned over the past few years, is a massive lie because they just don't care and their moderation just isn't good. And we're not even talking about surface level bans where people get banned for, you know, just dumb reasons. That's obviously a bad thing. But on a way deeper scale, Roblox has literally been sued firstly for child safety by parents because their children can easily just find, you know, not safe for work stuff on the platform. And they've been sued for this and got in trouble for this many times, which is pretty crazy. And it doesn't even end here because like right now, for example, I can literally search up stuff on Roblox that fosters really weird communities and super inappropriate communities. And all these games have never been taken down and they've been up for a few months now. And they're super easy to find and super easy to search. Like the fact that right now, I can search three letters and find some of the most inappropriate and horrible games on the platform and Rolls hasn't taken them down and they've been out for months is actually insane. And it's such as this phrase right here, there's so much other phrases that go way deeper and host so much worse content and Rolls never does anything about it. Maybe they do take action like a year later or a few months later, but the damage has already been done at that point. To be fair for a second, the games themselves are kind of harmless, but what people do in the games are bad and what they make their avatars are bad, but then that's still on Roblox because they didn't properly moderate the clothing, the avatar packages, and in general, they actually have a rule now where they said they're going to ban games where the users keep breaking TOS and these games are all still up and it actually goes way deeper than this because not only is this bad that it hasn't got taken down the fact that Rolls didn't take action against it led to a whole country at one point banning Roblox because it's such a bad issue that they literally had to ban the entire website because Rolls never takes action against it and it was a massive ban and a lot of players couldn't play Rolls because of this now to be fair after a few years the ban was lifted but as we've seen, it hasn't got better ever since, and stuff like this still happens on Roblox. And also in general, just like the report feature and their moderation has been awful forever, like we've seen so much instances. A little bit ago, Ruben Sim made a video in an experiment, kind of testing the moderation and the report feature, where they made 200 accounts. 100 were super obvious, inappropriate accounts, and they reported them. And the other 100 were bad, but they didn't report them to kind of see how moderation handles these and literally none of them got taken down. Which is pretty insane because not only can Roblox not detect stuff like this on the platform, but they also can't even control it once it's been reported. And all these instances kind of show you how bad Roblox's moderation and report feature is. And every single day, there's so much bad games made, bad items uploaded, you know, they've gotten lawsuits and it's never got better. But even after all that, Every time Rolls are interviewed and the owner of Rolls are interviewed about child safety, they always say the exact same thing, that their moderation is incredible and that they care about their platform. We take this very seriously. Which honestly just isn't true. But to be fair, we know the reason they do this is to inflate their stock. Obviously on national news, they're not going to tell everyone that their moderation is bad, even though it is. And they all do that to protect their stock and all their investors. But deep down, we all know it's just not true. And my last point to kind of wrap this all up is I kind of want to bring up this new update Rolls released recently, where they actually added some pretty good stuff. They added better moderation and proper report features for illegal content. So you're probably wondering how this is bad. They only added this because of the new EU law, and that's why it's only to EU users. So really think for a second. I'm not trying to like say any allegation or anything, but really think for a second. If Roblox really cared about their users, why would they number one not add this years ago? And then number two, why would they not give this to everybody? The only reason they added better moderation and better report features for EU is because the law told them to. If the law never told them to, you can only think, would they have probably added this? Probably not. And stuff like this kind of shows that, well, it just kind of shows their lies. Stuff like this is kind of obvious, better report features and then better moderation for like bans and stuff and like appeal features. That's very obvious things to add, but Rolls never added them. They only now added them only to EU users to comply with the law so they don't get in trouble, which just kind of, I feel like shows they don't really care. Now with that being said, let's kind of move out of all this inappropriate content and talk more about just random instances where Rolls kind of lied and scammed their users, starting with one of the most popular scams being the Golden Pilot Wings which is a very interesting thing that happened on Roblox. Basically what happened here was that Tate McRae, a popular artist, was supposed to have a concert and this concert ended up being cancelled but in the game there's items that said they're going to go limited, the biggest one being the golden wings and thousands of people bought this item, it was like 150 robux or it was 120 robux and they probably made a bunch of money off this because so much people bought it thinking it was a good investment since the item was going to go limited later. However, the item never went limited. As you can see here, all over the game they're promoting this item saying it's going to go limited and they even gave release time and stuff. It was a really 
hype item in the community because it seemed like a good investment and a lot of people were very excited for this and so much people bought it but rules and the game behind it straight up lied and they never put the item limited and rules is tied into this because this wasn't a UGC limited this was an official collab with roblox and they had control over these items to make it limited at the time and they just never did it and it was one of the biggest scams we've seen on roblox and once again you're probably sensing a theme here because rules has been sued for this once again I don't think it's directly related to this item, but in general, Rolls has been sued from parents and people because they don't get refunds on items and stuff like that. Which is another big issue. A lot of times people buy items and Rolls deletes them and doesn't give a refund. And then there's also stuff like this where people buy items thinking they're going to go limited and Rolls doesn't refund them after they don't go limited and scam them. And once again, like I said, Rolls actually has been sued for this, which is pretty crazy. And what's even crazier is once again, even after all this, Rolos hasn't even learned a lesson and they continue to do stuff like this. I think it happened like a few more times, like the exact same thing, where he said the item was going to go limited and it never went limited. Although to be fair, I think sometimes he did actually refund the items, but the wings were never refunded and it was a big scam in the community. And Rolos actually lied to people saying it's going to go limited. And once again, it doesn't end here. One year ago, when Rolos was doing a bunch of sponsored events, a lot of them actually contained a lot of lies. And during this time, no one even cared about sponsored events. I mean, people still don't care about them. And one sponsor being the NARS game, told people to log in every day and play to get free daily rewards, which seems fine and harmless, but this was also a complete lie. Because Rose actually hid the free items behind a paywall, so none of the items were actually free. And once again, it seems like Rose is kind of scamming people to try to get some extra money out of it. Because not only were they making money from people probably buying premium to get the items, but people also playing the game and stuff like that will probably generate the money as well. And in general, this is a weird move from Roblox, and just kind of a scummy thing they did. And with that, let's move to some more lighthearted stuff. Starting with this post right here from David Bazuki, the owner of Roblox, late like November, where a few months ago, a big mystery started on Roblox because the owner of Roblox started hyping up an update coming in November. Now, to be fair, I've seen a lot of different theories around this. On one hand, a lot of people say it's the official channel because it has videos from years ago and it has a bunch of subscribers, and everything about the channel looks official. But then I saw a lot of people saying that the channel is not official, so this kind of remains a big mystery. But basically, at one point, he just said that a huge update is coming to Roblox in November and he was hyping it up like crazy on this community post and when November came there wasn't anything that crazy. They did release a calling update that month but that was already announced way before this and we already knew that was coming so everyone was kind of confused and everyone thought Rolls lied to us because there was supposed to be a big change and a big update in November and nothing really happened and people literally said like Rolls lied to us because of this. Although to be fair we didn't even know if the channel was real in the first place but it was pretty crazy and a big mystery in the community. And lastly let's wrap up on a bit of a joke being the Headless Horseman. One of the most infamous items or famous items in the Rolls community, but there's actually a, a rumor or I guess a statement going around where everyone, whenever the item release, always says that it's not actually headless. And the reason for that is because if you go to the headless head and zoom in, there actually is a head on it. I think they have to do that just for the item. It doesn't actually show up in game, but technically the headless horseman isn't actually headless. But that one's just kind of a joke. That's not like the craziest lies compared to, you know, the first one. But in general, with that being said, Roblox has lied and been lying to us for a while. And these kind of just show some instances. Obviously, some of them aren't as serious and just kind of jokes, but the first one's probably the biggest one because it's been a huge debate in the community for a while and a big like lie Rolls has always been saying to kind of get money and investors on their side. And that the situation's way deeper than Roblox, you know, actual lawsuits, actual parents being concerned. And in general, we kind of seen some scummy stuff Rolls does as well, which is pretty interesting and pretty crazy, especially for a company that's worth billions of dollars. And once again, we kind of see more of Roblox as being greedy and money hungry, which they've acted like ever since they launched their stock, which is pretty crazy and pretty messed up from them.